the the increasing guidance around Watsi, could you go through the puts and takes there? Is that driven largely by magic? Uh, better expectations on Boulder's Gate now, now that it launches today, uh, or Monopoly Go. You should go on through uh, some of the changes there. Yeah, sure thing. And thanks, Andrew. Um, you know, at a high level, uh, I'd say it's uh, foolishness around magic. Foolishness around magic. Damn! Foolishness around magic. Foolishness around magic. What? Foolishness around magic. Foolishness around magic. Foolishness around magic. Well, it looks like Hasbro's gonna lean a lot more on Wizards of the Coast in the next year because they're extremely bullish. Welcome back guys, Matt Caster Mage here. If you do enjoy these type of videos, please consider subscribing to the channel and joining in on all the action we have here, like talking about Hasbro and their earnings report call. So they painted a pretty good picture for investors Though if you read through all the kind of corporate lingo, you'll find a few little tidbits there that were actually interesting, little bits of information that I think that is very useful uh, if you were actually an investor, but also someone who collects Magic the Gathering. So for example, they have an inventory glut. That was one thing that was clearly outlined when they talked about all the excess product that they have you know, potentially in warehouses. I also know that there's things being, you know, sold on discount at places like Toys R Us here in Canada, because Hasbro is obviously a toy company first. So I collect Marvel Legends, and I was actually walking to my Toys R Us to try to actually find some deals on Pokemon, and I actually stumbled upon a buttload of Hasbro Marvel Legends, not even just Hasbro Marvel Legends, but also Hasbro Star Wars Black Series figures as well, because that is one of their licensed products. And I ended up grabbing a decent amount of figures for a pretty good discount, like 40% off, which is not like crazy clearance prices, but in Canada, that's actually pretty good. If you're going to get clearance for 40% off in Canada, that's a, that's a pretty good deal. And you actually had to buy one, get another one for an extra 10% off. So I ended up getting a few Marvel Legends, and that is one of the problems, you know, a lot of places are putting things on clearance because there is so much stuff in warehouses that are just being just, just held there for like ridiculous amounts of time. And eventually these, these don't become collectible and eventually the prices are gonna have to come down because if there's that much excess available of that product, then how can you justify these prices, especially when they're, they keep increasing their prices? Hasbro has not just increased their prices for Magic the Gathering, they've also increased their prices for things like Hasbro Marvel Legends, Hasbro Star Wars Black Series, Peppa Pig maybe, I don't know. I don't keep, I don't keep a lot of track of prices of Peppa Pig stuff, but I, I imagine if it's Hasbro, they probably put the price up on those as well. Now, how are people uh, reacting right now? So the call just ended about 20 minutes ago. So uh, take a look right here. Their stock is actually performing well. That earnings call, you know, right before the bell, people are responding pretty well to it. It's already up 4.5. 41%, it's at $67.21 a share. Now that seems good, but if you actually look, if you actually take a, a bigger picture, let's see here. So uh, it was at about 61.71 six months ago. So that was February 3rd. Year to date, so it is up year to date, 61.95. If you actually check out the one year, it's actually down. So it's still down. It's it's nowhere near any anywhere close to its all-time highs. In August, it was at eighty-four dollars a share. Now it seems to be on the rise. It looks like it bottomed out in March thirteenth, twenty twenty-three, and and since then it's actually been on the rise. Uh, but if you look at the five-year chart, it's nowhere near its all-time high of one hundred twenty-one dollars and sixteen cents. Yikes! Now that was obviously before the pandemic, so uh, that might have caused a, a bit of fear when it comes to collectibles or anything in general like toys. Maybe people's perspectives on everything has changed since you know we're, we're in a pandemic. Now another thing that actually did happen um, that was interesting during the calls that they, they ended up selling one of their entertainment companies, E1. So E1, uh, they're responsible for like creating a lot of you know entertainment, films, television, and they sold them. So that means that the prospects for you know, D&D &D getting another film is probably low. And they didn't make as much money as they were hoping it would make. And that was pretty clear and pretty evident in the call, which leads me to believe that if you are one of those players or if you are a fan of Magic Gathering and you're really hoping that one day Wizards of the Coast finally makes that film, that Netflix film, that Netflix show, sorry, that everyone's been waiting for, well, 
I mean, I've been waiting for it. I've been kind of curious to see it. I think that it's a great way to give back to people who've been like longtime fans. You know, it's a piece of entertainment and cultural entertainment. But uh, you know, we'll we'll just do more IPs. We'll just keep branding with more IPs. So um, that is kind of annoying. I, that is something that's very clear to me now that we're never going to get this Netflix show. I know it says that it's never, it's not officially canceled yet, but I, come on. Especially after listening to this call, I think it's pretty much officially canceled at this point. You know, they sold E1, and you know it doesn't look like they're going to be making another D&D movie. And I feel like a lot of the potential for Magic: The Gathering to get any sort of uh, movies or films or any television shows, animated series out there in production was probably hindering on the performance of the D&D film Honor Among Thieves and it did not look good. And it's funny, uh, I actually saw this on Reddit recently, we'll go through this, this was interesting. Uh, this was downvoted to crap and uh, someone shared this post and, and it said we need an MTG show or movie and it has zero upvotes. I don't know why it has zero upvotes. I read it and I was like yeah, I mean I kind of share a decent amount of the sentiment here and it got downvoted. And I know that Magic Gathering, this is like the official Reddit page. I know that they, uh, there's people who monitor that stuff. And obviously after that earnings call, they're, it's pretty clear that they're not gonna be making anything in the future Magic Gathering or D&D related when it comes to entertainment, film, and television. So yeah, they're probably like, no, get it out. No, we're gonna downvote that crap. But if you listen to the points here, this is stuff that I've you know reiterated quite a few times. Um, so here it is. Look, after seeing movies and shows like D&D the movie, and I actually thought that was good, it you know, was well received, had good reviews. I just didn't think that you know, there was an audience for it, unfortunately. It maybe it wasn't marketed properly, but I thought it was a great film. Arcane, Pokemon, clearly, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, do so much in bringing new players into the game and to promote the game, and that's what I've been saying uh, for a while, like for a long time on this channel. We need new ways to bring people into the game rather than just, just cards all the time. Because, you know, not it's not just... Of course, the game is is the best part of Magic Gathering, but sometimes you know you want to be entertained. You want like lore. You want books, fantasy, uh, that gets people more interested in things like the artwork on cards, right? So, uh, I think it's about time we get a show or a movie for MTG. Yep, the lore of Magic Gathering is good and interesting with Phyrexia, Urza, and Well Magic. I think it'll be amazing to have a show which we almost did get, but got canceled. And that's the thing: is is it canceled or not? And here's the IMDB logo here for the Netflix show that was originally going to be directed by the Risso brothers who were actually the ones responsible for some of the best Marvel films out there. So interesting that this post got downvoted and some of the comments are like immediately like no. And then he said uh, D&D was a flop man and he's like yes I know um, although it was a good film. Another person says no, no we don't. So I don't understand why people are so quick to be like no we don't need. I Entertained? I don't want to be entertained. Grow my game? No, -uh. I don't want anyone to, to be playing my, I don't want anyone to be interested in the cards or, or the lore of Magic the Gathering. We definitely don't need that. I don't understand why it's so quick to shoot that down. So anyways, it's very interesting to see uh, all of this and it's just very interesting to hear what they had in the call today, the earnings call. I was not shocked, but obviously, you know, Wall Street's reacting well to it right now because we can see here it's still hovering above 4%. Uh, whether or not it's gonna stay like that, I've seen so many days where it's just, it goes above 5% and then it'll go all the way back down to its uh, previous low of the next day. So I don't know. It's just, it's an interesting perspective. I want to know what you guys think about it. Did you guys listen to the call? If you did listen to the call, I'd like to know your thoughts about it down below in the comment section. Maybe there's something that I'm missing here. Maybe there's something that I didn't bring up that you think is very important. I'd love to know about that down below in the comment section. With that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Use promo code MATCASTER for 5% off your order at Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide if you use our promo code MATCASTER at checkout. Whether you're buying singles or sealed product, use our code to support the show and get a discount.